Our training process starts out from easy to complex. The generic class was almost entirely memorization. A lot of it was manuals and procedures, memorize them, show me that you've memorized them. As you get farther along in your training, it's less about being able to repeat them verbatim and more about proving that you understand what it's saying. Basically, it's a great deal of information coming in very quickly, trying to learn all the very basic general rules uh, for area control. It's not a university course where you can write it and forget it and once you've done the exam you have to apply that so it's an ongoing learning process. You get sent a package that's a couple of books and a, and a disc and you do what's called the Introduction to Aviation ITA program. It's computer-based learning and uh, I believe it's about 50 hours worth of classroom or basically homework. My first week of training uh, was pretty overwhelming. Uh, I didn't know exactly what to expect when I first started. The Manual of Operations, which we refer to as MANOPS, is the actual document that contains the bulk of all of our rules and procedures that we use to control aircraft. We have a fictional airspace that we use that's just to make sure that we can learn and apply these rules given a, an airspace that doesn't really exist but it's a uh, easy to learn and, and uh, work in and it provides a variety of things that aren't necessarily available in a typical airspace. Uh, it was beneficial to find somebody that was doing really well at something, partner myself up with them and work off of each other, see the habits that they have, pick them up and put them in my toolbox to use at later dates. With the great visuals we have and the systems that uh, we have to mimic upstairs, create an intensity here that's not unlike being upstairs and in fact even more so because it's uh, heavily traffic driven to, to get the most out of our time. On the job training involves working uh, basically a normal position, day-to-day -day position with a licensed controller uh, watching your back, they're watching over your shoulder and uh, making you're working on their license and uh, making sure that you're doing everything correctly. Uh, safety is never jeopardized or anything like that. I found that with the skills that I've learned on the job have actually helped me become more confident in my personal life. The most difficult of tasks are routine and mundane now. So to look back and see just how far I've come makes the road ahead look that much brighter. Nav Canada puts a lot of uh, time and effort into us and training us and I think they want us to uh, have the best opportunities to succeed.